lived in our house here for going on 42 years. So we came and stayed and this was our house that we bought right after we got married. So we have just um, weathered a couple things and, and uh, we've always felt like if we had concerns, you know, um, there were people that would listen to us and, and we made that happen at a, we belong to West Central Neighborhood Association and um, when we did have concerns, we had a meeting one night and we had the mayor there, Mayor Hart. Um, we had a police presence there. We had a council member. And after that, things really did improve. I'm Rudy Jones, the director of the Waterloo Community Development Department. And what we do is provide uh, mostly housing assistance, everything from demolition to new construction, everything in between, and help a lot of our nonprofits provide those services that translate not just a house, but a home. What we're trying to accomplish is giving our community the opportunity to be the best community with its tools, its capital, uh, its uh, human capital, its resources, that we can see how far we can take this thing. We continue to encourage our neighborhoods that are different across uh, the community. What's your strengths? What are your shortcomings? How can we bring some additional tools for your toolbox to maximize who you want to be, who you are planning on being? When the pandemic first hit last spring, we found ourselves being compelled to shut our operations down uh, with the exception of our emergency repair programs. So with staff going home, we were able to take that time away from our performance and begin to build our contractor pool. Uh, that was also the same year that our uh, lead hazard control grant ended. So we used that as an opportunity to uh, rebuild the program before we applied for another grant. And fortunately, we believe we had a good makeup that allowed us to be awarded another three-year, $3.1 million grant. With the CARES Act funding, we're always challenged with how do we take these resources that will usually bring additional regulatory language to the table and apply it to the situation that each community is in, particularly uh, Waterloo. The goal has been set for 800 houses in uh, eight years. Uh, that means we've got to, uh, instead of pulling out our hammers, we need to get our pneumatic nailers to be able to get more production, to uh, create more efficiency, uh, and uh, get into those numbers. We typically can address uh, somewhere between 40, 50, maybe 60 housing units a year. But with these additional resources, we should be able to move towards that goal of averaging uh, 80 units a year. We're up for it. When we talk about leadership, we understand that without a vision, uh, the people perish, uh, as a quote from the scriptures. Uh, so leadership is very critical with any group organization, in our case, the community, as we prepare to move forward. Those leaders are our elected officials, our department heads, our neighborhood association representatives, those who run our non-for-profit organizations, our philanthropic community. Everybody has a role in the advancement and development of our community, but there are some critical masses that leadership requires that people be led in the proper direction, that we bring all that synergy, getting it going in one direction.